All right, guys, so we're back with another video. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to install MySQL on your DigitalOcean droplet. One thing that I should clarify is that we're basically using a Linux server. So there's no difference if you have something like OVH, AWS, whatever service that you're paying for from whatever provider. In the end, you're getting the same Linux server. Well, not the same exact one because of the different hardware that you might have, but the installation, everything is just going to be the same. Okay, so if you're using, for example, Amazon Web Services and you have an EC2 instance, you most likely might have a Linux server and it's pretty much the same thing. You might have different hardware, different specs, but the installation process is going to be the same thing. So you're more than welcome to follow along, of course but we're just using DigitalOcean as our provider for our service. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install my SQL. So I'm going to go ahead and first do sudo apt update. So I'm just type a password. Okay. So let's just let that do what it's got to do. All right, cool. So now we're going to do sudo. So now we're going to go ahead and do sudo apt install my SQL hyphen server. Okay, so it's going to ask you, do you want to continue? And it's going to tell you how much space it's taking up, 156 megabytes. So let's just continue. Okay, remember we have, I think, 25 gigabytes of space, so that's plenty. Assuming that you aren't using it to, you know, store, like, large files. Okay. So just give it a sec. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to go ahead and just do sudo mysql secure installation. And it's going to tell you validate password plugin can be used to test passwords and improve security. And would you like to set up validate password plugin? Okay, so what we're going to just do is we're just going to go ahead and say yes. Okay, and it's going to ask you there are three levels or well, it's going to tell you that there are three levels of password validation policy. So you can select which one you want. So for example, if you want low, you would just have to have a password that has a length greater than or equal to eight characters. For medium length, it has to be at least eight characters. Uh, it has to have a number, mixed casing, and special characters. And for strong, so we can just do something like low for now. Okay, so I'm just gonna type in a password. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. Okay, and now uh, remove anonymous users. So we can just go ahead and do that. And then it's going to ask you normally root should only be allowed to connect from localhost. This ensures that someone cannot guess the root password from the network. So it's going to say the sell out root log remotely. Yes. And then remove test database. We can do that. And then we can reload the privilege table. And there we go. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and just type sudo mysql. And you can see that our server version is 5.7.29. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new account. So create user. And then quotes Anson at localhost. And then identified by. And then some passwords. So we can just type testing. Okay, and now we need to give it privileges. So grant all privileges on asterisk star asterisk i mean asterisk dot asterisk and then to our user account at localhost and then flush privileges okay so now let's go ahead and try to log in so mysql hyphen u and some hyphen p there you go so we're now logged in so obviously we need to create the user account because in our application, we need to log into our database with a user account as well as with the password. So it's very important to do that. And it's also important that you disable uh, root login. And now if I do show databases, you can see we have some databases over here. I can create a database. So create database. Let's do a simple test database. And then let's just show databases again. And let's step into that database. And then if I show tables, you can see that it should be obviously empty. Let's create a table. So create a table, let's call it users. And then let's do an ID, varchar uh, 100, not null primary key. And let's just say name and then age. Oh, wait, whoops, name varchar. 
100 and then age will be a small 8. Okay, so now if I show tables, and if I, you can see my table over there, describe users. Uh, oh, it's case sensitive. Okay, there we go. And I can insert into users values. Now let's do one, Anson 22. And let's select all columns from users. There you go. So we have a simple database and that's pretty much it. So I just want to show you guys how to set up a MySQL database on your DigitalOcean droplet. So hopefully this helped you guys out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.